Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today, we'll demonstrate how to test if the laser beam passes through the first optical hole properly, and guide you through calibration if needed. Click to move the laser module. Remove the slide cover on the left side of the machine, and then click Next. Stick a piece of masking tape on the first optical path hole. Note, if the tape is too thin, apply two or three layers to avoid a serious burn hole on the tape. Press the tape in to allow you to see the outline of the hole. Click Next and put down the lid. Click Pulse. Open the lid. Check the mark left by the laser beam on the masking tape. If you don't see any mark on the tape, try clicking pulse a few more times. If there is still no mark left, click the link in the upper right to troubleshoot the issue of Xtool P2 Want Fire Laser. If the mark is near the center, the laser beam passes through the first optical path hole properly. If the mark deviates from the center, you'll need to make adjustments to the screws on the first mirror holder. This video will provide an example of adjusting the screws on the first mirror, when the mark deviates towards the lower right. Click lower right and then next. Remove the rear plate and the rear upper cover. You can click the link on the upper right to get the tutorial. After removing the cover and plate, restart the machine and connect it to XCS. Back to the test interface and click back covers removed, next. Use the hex key to loosen the three hex screws around the first mirror without taking them out. If the screws are tight, heat them with a hair dryer before attempting to loosen them. Then click Next. Turn the upper left screw about 45 degrees clockwise with the screwdriver. If the deviation is minor, the angle that needs adjustment can be reduced accordingly. Remove the used piece of tape. Stick a new piece and press it in to outline the hole. Put the lid down. Click pulse and open the lid. Check the mark left by the laser beam on the masking tape and select the actual state. Note, repeat the previous steps as necessary, until a mark is left in the center of the whole outline on the masking tape. Adjust the angle gradually based on each pulse result to bring the mark closer to the center. Once the mark is left around the center of the whole outline for the first optical path, tighten the three screws around the mirror. Click Center and then Next. Now, it's done. You've finished the first optical path test and calibration. We hope this video is helpful. Feel free to contact the X Tool support team if you have any questions.